Okay, well, here's some cougar mountain lion scat. It's several weeks old, um, and it may even be older than that, actually, because it's, you can see the white, it's calcification <clears throat> that's caused from the, the bones in the scat. And you can see the, uh, those clumps of reddish, sort of brownish <clears throat> uh, hair, actually, what it is, it's elk hair and if you look at the some of the scat here a little bit closer uh, that diameter is running around three quarters plus to an inch some of it uh, some of it's a little smaller so but it falls within that cougar scat diameter actually it's yeah thickness diameter of about three quarters to an inch um, I'm going to show you over here, I dug these out earlier, um, and we'll go in a little bit closer here. On the upper part of the screen here, you can see there's nails, a whole bunch of toenails. And it's the outer sheath of the toenail. And I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but... <clears throat> Cougars are known to eat each other, and the size of those claws makes me think that it ate the paws of another cougar. It could have been a cub, a larger cub. Uh, it's hard to really know, um, but pretty pretty fascinating. And um, they do they do eat each other when there's no other food available. And uh, so that's not unknown. So here you go, some cougar scat, uh, elk. It's been eating elk by the, the hair and also possibly another um, cougar. Could it be bear? I don't think so, it could be. Too large for bobcat. Could have been a bear cub. Got into hard to say. Anyway, tracking is uh, pretty fascinating. And then scat, scatology, is, gives you so much information, even though nobody really understands. Uh, it's, never, it's not at all like human waste. Once in a while, if they've been eating a lot of mate, meat or something, but it's not near as gross as human waste. Anyway, great.